Road tubers, Jeff here. Video two of working on my Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 1999. Um, so this is my first video. I started checking out the engine more. I took the valve cover off yesterday. See if there was anything broken up top. Because, like I said in my first video, uh, the complaint was uh, the engine had a rattle. Well, there's nothing loose on the top here. It looks in good shape. Other than some rust. But that can just be from sitting. But I took a three-quarter inch uh, socket, put it on a half-inch dry breaker bar, and put it on the crank. This engine is locked up tight. Completely seized up. Does not turn over. And I got to thinking. I go, so you know, that doesn't change anything. Either way, I still have to pull the engine out. Either way, I'm still breaking it down. Either way, I'm still rebuilding it. So it doesn't change anything at all. Except what I buy for rebuild kit. The one that I was going to buy was just going to have bearings, gaskets, that's it. So I was going to replace all the bearings, put a new gasket set in the engine, and be done. Now, in order for me to do it right, I'm going to spend more money. Because the other kit was around between $289 and $350. Now I'm going to spend $200 more, it'll be over $500, $500, and I'm going to get a master engine rebuild kit that comes with all the gaskets, as previously mentioned, all the bearings, timing set, new lifters, blah, 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 oil pump, water pump, everything, freeze plugs, all the engine block plugs. It's a complete kit, everything with it. And uh, I'm going to do this right, so when this engine co goes back in here and fires up for the first time, it will be an engine with no miles on it whatsoever, because it's all going to be honed, clean, block, and head's all going to be planed, and head's going to get rebuilt, new valves, valve seats, new rocker arms, new valve springs. It's going to be a new engine, complete. Uh, other thing I did is I put wheels on the driver's side so after f four years of sitting on blocks she is finally sitting on wheels at least on the driver's side uh, the lug nuts are absolute crap I mean they are just junk so they're just very little on there and actually on the front there's only one lug nut that actually is tight but this is not going to be driven uh, any movement that this does, it will be towed to push, and it's only going to go just a little ways. From this spot, down to the work area, and then back up, which is only maybe 100 feet, and that's about it. Uh, here's the uh, gas tank skid plate. Yeah, that's garbage. I gotta buy another one of those. This vehicle will have it. I found the gas tank. Uh, it's sitting in the back now. But uh, yeah, got some work. I got the spindle for the front uh, that was in the back seat uh, on the floorboard in the back. I got that down to the work area. Uh, soaking in PB Blaster to get the uh, bolts that hold the wheel hub on it uh, get them crack free because last night I ordered a new wheel hub and uh, new upper and lower ball joints for both sides uh, I got a strap here just on there just to keep the rear end more straight that's not a permanent thing obviously Unless I didn't care about this thing, but if I didn't care about it, I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the new ball joints in when it comes in. So, 
probably by the end of next weekend this will be on all four wheels and be a rolling chassis I'm going to make my life a little easier when it comes to taking out the engine I'm going to take it out piece by piece take the fuel injection off take the throttle body not the throttle body well yeah take the throttle body off I'll put a new gasket on that intake unbolt everything take the radiator out take the head off and when I just have the block that's left in here, then I'll just unbolt that from the transmission and undo the motor mounts and pull that out with the torque converter out of it because I cannot turn the engine over. So therefore, I have to take the uh, torque converter out with the engine and then I can take the, uh, once that's out, then I can unbolt the torque converter from the flywheel and put the torque converter back in the transmission and uh, set it in there and then I don't have to worry about that I'm going to throw a new uh, filter kit in the uh, transmission new fluid but that's going to be after I get the um, engine back in it the engine will be all painted up all looking nice I want to polish up all that fucking all that aluminum I know I swore fuck it so yeah I've got a I got a long list of things to get. The ABS pump is missing from it. The computer is missing from it. There are some other pieces that are missing from it. Obviously the grill, the front header panel, the bumper, headlights as you already saw in my first video is already sitting in the back. You know this video was only going to be about maybe a minute long. Quick update and it's turned into, well, as of right now, yeah, about seven minutes. But yeah, started taking the column apart. Working on it yesterday, getting the column, replace the key switch because the key is missing. And the bolts for the call well, to get the key switch out are being a little bit of a pain, but that's alright. I got plenty of time to mess with it, so that's it. I can't wait to get this thing rolling. And that uh, this thing's not closing right. Or maybe it is. Mm, it is closing right, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's nice to see wheels on this side. It's been four years since this thing seen uh, wheels on it. I got the other two down next to the other two tires. These tires are not going to stay on this. I'm not going to drive this with these tires. They're all dry rotted and they're way too big. They're 265, 75, 16. They're way too big for this Jeep. About the biggest I'm going to go for size is going to be, uh, I think the factory size is 245. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah. No, actually it's 225. 225 is the factory size for this. This is right here on this little plate. But yeah. It would be nice. Huh, looks like there's a... Isn't that weird? I got a seatbelt strap holding that on. That's... That factory? I think that is factory. That's factory. That's one hell of a weird thing. Huh. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, this video's run way longer than I ever thought it was going to. But, this is the progress for my Jeep. Later.